The postseason atmosphere is electric as we welcome you to Game 1 of the League Championship Series on MLB Network. It's Game 1 of the National League Championship Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. With that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, you know, the key for this ball club has been Jason Hayward. You can bet the opposition spent Leaving a decent amount of time point. crafting a right, game Hayward. plan to stop this guy. Jason because as Hayward. he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. The wind up and the 0 1. Way in front of that fastball. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here comes another 0 2. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And a rather easy first out. In the second spot there, second baseman, number eight. Digging in the switch hitter, number eight. Switch hitter batting left here. Into the windup and the pitch. Yeah. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Starting to get a bit chilly here tonight. 57 degrees at game time. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Faces are empty, one man out. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. At the plate. Chris Bryant first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on checked his swing there and pops this one up and Franco will make the catch to retire the side Cubs are down in order so now the Phillies offense will see what they can do no score With that, a look at the Phillies' batting order in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? I think the sinker ball is the toughest pitch to hit because you're told all the time to look down for a ball, and every pitcher's told to get it down. But then when you start to swing and the ball sinks even more, that's when you get ground balls. So you've got to go there with a real good game plan of making him get that ball up, Second which he knows he's not trying to do. Cesar it's a tough battle. Hernandez. So striding in, Cesar Hernandez. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A one count, here's the pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Two quick strikes and now the 0 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He Not hadn't exactly. used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He Number uses it, five. pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Number five. 
stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Now, Fillmore's an interesting case. I call him one of those guys that calls the corners. A little wider, but up and down, he's not giving you much. So if you just put a little square up there, that's him. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. One out, nobody on. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. This is the kind of pitching that's frustrating for me to watch. He had him down 0-2, then he started getting cute, and now the count is full at three and two. It happens, but I'd rather see him attack the hitter and force contact if you can't get him to chase after a pitch or two. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter, working a walk with just one out, and I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. Standing in, David Peralta. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a liner, but foul. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses one and one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hayward looks up, and it's gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His first homer so far in the series as the Phillies have taken a 2 to nothing lead. He really hit that ball well. Just got great extension and didn't miss the pitch. Batting fourth. In now, baseman. number 17. Number 17. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. Slapped hard the opposite way. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Well, this one was squared up pretty good. But just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Into the windup and the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Martin. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But the fighting strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2-0 Philly. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Well, Matt, I'm looking at that 0-1 pitch right there, and I'm thinking he got lucky. I mean, that ball down and in, that's right in his wheelhouse. Some guys, that's a good spot for him. That is not a good place to flirt around with. I wouldn't do it again. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Oh, he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first down of the inning. Batting fifth. The catcher. Here's Number the catcher, 13. Alex Avila. Alex Avila. Pitch on its way to Avila. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Hey, not a bad take there on that first pitch. Not a real good idea to go up there looking for a changeup to hit. Sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. 
Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And with two away, let's check out our playoff bracket as we give you a look at how these two teams advanced out of the divisional round to meet here for the league championship. Stepping up to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing and one. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 oh, and 2. Matt is one pitch away from striking out the side. Now that's a shutdown inning. Your team gets your runs and then you go back and shut them down. Changes up on him there, but it's 1 and 2. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now another one two and another foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here he comes again, one, two. Cut fastball, and he's got to lean out of the way of that one. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Squared that one up just a little late. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Altair moves over, and that's the third out. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're down two to nothing. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He'll lead it Leading off up, against Philly. Jake Arrieta. Catcher. And this one's not oh, close. No. It's in the dirt for ball one. Now here's the pitch. Lifted in the air to right field. Therefore it is Hayward now. One away. So striding forward now. Freddie Galvis. Freddie Galvis. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. And a hard sinker there. Chopped foul at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. On to first, and there were two down. Batting eight. Now batting, Michael Franco will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. I don't know what was going on with him in the first inning. He had a bad first inning. This looks like a totally different pitcher here in the second. Really starting to settle in, really starting to throw strikes. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Well, there's an infield single with two outs. You know, never too late to get a rally started. I love the hustle right there to get things going. Standing in now, Zach Eflin. As he'll take a look at ball one. Arietta sets. 1 0 on its way. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Tell you what, pitching to the pitcher is not that easy. Sometimes when you face him, a little bit of a letdown. He's in a 2 0 count right now. You got to really focus, I think, more so with the pitcher hitting against you than anybody. And he has a cut at that one, but misses 2 and 1. Here's the 2 1. 
never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. There's two outs in the inning. Three one count to the pitcher. You've got to make him swing the bat right here. You just have to. Set. Here's the three one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it. And that retires the side. Here's Addison Russell. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading, leading off the, the third cup. after the first six Rush guys up. in the lineup have Addison. been retired in order. Yeah, it's Russell. been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Sent out to straightaway center field. Altair has a beat on it. One down. Batting eight. The pitcher number at the 20. plate, Jake Arietta. Jake as he'll get Arrieta. his first opportunity in this one. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Fastball called for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a minimum effort at bat that time as the pitch is taken for a strike three called, and he'll go back to focusing on pitching instead. Two away now. Here's Leonis Martin. Two away in the inning, and then it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Swing and a little tapper. Foul ball, strike two. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another 0 2. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Cubs are down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Striding in once again, Leading Cesar Hernandez. Oh, for, for one for him here in this one. Cesar Hernandez. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Ground ball right side. Rizzo is there, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Number five. Ready for another chance. Number five. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, check out the lefty as he absolutely jumps on that first pitch right and hammers it to right. Six. Got what he was looking David for and Peralta. put a good swing on it. Trying to pick things up where he left off. David Peralta. He hit a two run jack in his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounder down the line at third. Backhanded. And he'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. How about it? Digging in for his number second 17. at bat. Number 17. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Arietta sets. Here's the first pitch. I uh, was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. From the belt, the pitch. Popped up. Oh, and he misses it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Not, Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, Aaron. he'll be slapped with an okay. E4 on the plane. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aaron Altair. Two on, two out for him here in the third. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Two men are on with two men out. Nope. 
And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here, he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Hit to third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Here's Jason Hayward. Back to the top of the lineup right as they're still looking for their Jason first base runner Hayward. in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Number eight. Stepping in, number eight comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And here's a ball hit in the air. Galvis onto the grass, two gone. Now batting, third baseman. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on-deck circle. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like Oh, and his game of hide and seek ends as he's tagged out to end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're still down. It's two nothing. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. 0 for Leading one for him here in this here in one. Fourth, catcher number 18. Line drive to left. Schwarber has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. The batter Jumped number 13, all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't ready. miss it. Just wasn't able Calvin. to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Into the box, Freddie Galvis. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh and one count and the pitch. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. On the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle seven. hard like he did right here. Nice job. Franco. Stepping in now, Michael Franco as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Schwarber waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The pitcher number Digging 56. in to try it again, Zach ah, Eflin. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Well, that was unexpected. You're looking for the sinker down. He throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He's forcing you to look somewhere else. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Line to the right side. 
And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. That is a big hit right there. When you can help yourself out, a little two out base it. hit, extends Second the baseman. inning, brings the top of the order Saints up off. now. Hernandez. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here it comes, 1 and 0. And that slider's almost in the dirt. This is where you really got to focus with runners on base. You got a 2 0 count. You have a tendency to get a little anxious thinking you can drive somebody in. Stay focused, get your pitch. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. Now a long throw to third. And he will make it to third by a whisker as he's safe on a very close play. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second. And it there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Hayward. And a climbing attempt at the wall, but this ball is gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run but it all comes crashing down on that mistake nothing like a three run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound and it looks like the Cubs will get a left hander up and working out of the bullpen right fielder, in now six. David Peralta David Peralta as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play four runs here in this half inning And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Here's the one and one delivery. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that is off the wall in right field. The throw into second. And going for it, the right call. He's in at second base with a two-out double. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with the double. Standing in now, number 17, as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's through into left, a base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and he is in there. Well, he went up there with the game plan looking for one specific pitch, and he got it. He hit it hard. When a guy hits the ball that hard, you know he was looking for it. Mike Montgomery answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Mike Montgomery. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. The 0 1 pitch. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Another good inning here for the Phillies, and the brotherly love is in abundance now. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Leading off for the Cubs. Ready first with the first the pitch. Here it comes. Anthony the cutter runs Anthony. outside. Ball one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent. But it's not like they're getting great pitch stand either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. And now a ball hit pretty well down that right field line. This has some carry to it, and it is gone. Home run. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila. Alex 
Uh -huh. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Well, that first pitch single right there, something we haven't seen much this Not game. Nice. Maybe they'll Not be feeling. more aggressive now, Not jumping no. first pitch, Over. instead of finding themselves in the hole. A lot of the bats we've seen. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is Peralta. A leap at the wall, but forget it. It's gone. A home run. So stepping in, Addison Russell comes okay, into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Addison. And that's taken for strike one. That's just frozen. Big curveball up and in the zone. That's one you want to hit, right? But he wasn't able to pull the trigger. That's just frozen. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. John Jay will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 30, John Jay. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside. It's 1-0. Now for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. So coming to the plate, Leonis Martin. He's over one thus far. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. This ball will be chopped foul. Three runs already home here. Again, he sends it out of play. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Philly seven and Your Carl Edwards Jr. A right handed no reliever the standing six three Number gets six. the ball now out of Carl the bullpen. Hit back up the middle and that's through for his first base hit in this one. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Well here he goes again. Here's that guy. A little off base hit. 13. He's having a nice postseason. He is really Ready. locked in right now. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right handers begun to get loose. Line drive to center field and that'll get down for a base hit. Third Ready for another shot seven. now. Mike, Mike Franco. He's Mike singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Foul back. None out. Runners at first and second. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that is that's the first down of the inning. The pitcher number 56. Digging in and looking for more. Zach Eflin one for two on his line so far in the game. Here comes the first pitch and he's squaring around here but he can't connect one strike. Well Matt I expect him to square around at least one more time. Most pitchers here in this situation they will bump with two strikes if they need to. And he'll be back in standing up.
comes set and the 0-1. Now a bunt attempt here. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Now batting. Ready once again, Cesar Hernandez. Cesar He's working on a Hernandez. one for three thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw on to first is in time and the Phillies are turning. Here's Jason Hayward now. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the Maybe order, the but cup. they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Jason right, guys? Hayward. Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything number changes. Eight. Digging in once again, number eight. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And this will be fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he's finding new life out there in the sixth inning as this is swung on and missed. It's 0 and 2 now. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Set and the pitch. Chris Bryant is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control that bat. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. In the dirt. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Ready on one and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Grounded back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs. Digging in and looking for more, number five. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The windup and the 0-1. Here's a hard-hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. A sizzler that time, but the leadoff man is retired to begin the home sixth. David Peralta will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard up the middle. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. And he is so close to having a cycle. He's one thing oh, short. And the toughest Number one of 17. them all, the triple. He's going to, looks like he's going to get another at bat. Let's see if he's able to pull it off. Into the box, number 17, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a hard liner to center field. In there, a base hit. Long throw to third. And he's safe. You can't throw a ball high enough over this guy's eyes. He is a bad ball hitter. And if you throw it up, he'll just climb the ladder with the pitcher. Into the box now, Aaron Altair. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out, nothing in one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And he misses with it, one and one. He's set, here comes the 1-1. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? 
Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Made a no, miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Aaron Altair goes down for the second oh, no. out here in the bottom half. Seared down the first baseline. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by on the base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Well, he really picked his teammate well, up right the there with two outs and following a strikeout to get the base hit drive a run in. That is really a special feeling, but man, he really lifted his team up with that. Koji Uehara drives in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. In now, Freddie Galvis. And this is down for extra bases, and with two out, this might get them both home. The runner scores from second. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Let's slow this one down and take another look. Great camera angle here, looking straight down the left field line. You see him take that inside route to the ball. His hands stay back, and he goes oppo to find himself at second. Stepping in now, Michael Franco, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. The 1 0 delivery. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Look, Matt, he's nibbling. He's nibbling. I know he's upset he didn't get those pitches, but they just miss off the corner. He can't give in now, just continue to nibble. Looking to minimize the damage here. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So it's here's the catcher, Alex Avila. A hit in two tries so far. The catcher, number 13. And Alex. the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. That's 1-0. And the pitch. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Altair ranging forward. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the Next inning. The Trying to pick Kyle things up where he left Schwarber. off. Kyle Schwarber comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Three runs, four hits. One error for the Cubs to this point. And this is fouled at the plate. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Under it is Franco, and that's out number two. Now batting, shortstop, Addison. Russell. Here's Addison Russell. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Well, Matt, if I use the cliche, it's not how you start, how you finish, it would apply right now. A couple innings ago, he had a rough inning. Didn't look good. But now he's starting to settle in a little bit better. He may be able to get through this thing. Well, he finds himself down 0 2, but those were two good pitchers' pitches. Both on the inside half, both for strikes. There's nothing you can do with it. You just got to hope now you get something to hit. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Cubs are down. There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate, so it looks as though he's going to.
Cubs. off for the double switch here. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 52, Justin Grimm. Now playing shortstop and batting in the eighth spot. Number 18, Ben Zobrist. Number two is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the two. home half of the seventh. Swing and a liner, but foul. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Ready once again, Cesar Hernandez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Now batting, Stepping in and ready for another five. shot, number five. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Now, this is hit not all that hard out to second. He will go to shortstop covering, and they do get the force at second. That was not an easy play. Now batting, right fielder, David Peralta. Ready for another shot now. David Peralta, career line against Grimm, over five. From the stretch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Lifted in the air out to center field. Martin is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Philadelphia, but they lead it by a margin of nine to three. You're Luis right, Garcia play. comes on to now start the inning, the and he'll have a huge lead number to work 57. with. Luis Digging in the Garcia. switch hitter, Ben Zobrist. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench Leading just a little bit ago. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. And, and that's swung on and fouled straight back. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strike out. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Leonis Martin stands in as he looks at ball one here. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. Just slicing foul at the very last moment. So close to extra bases. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Peralta is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Right fielder. Jason Hayward. Digging in to try it again. Jason Hayward. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Chop foul at the plate here, and it's 0-2. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. and two. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Chop foul over towards the coaching box.
Another one sent foul. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So the two-out hit keeps the top of the eighth inning extended. Well, sometimes you make the perfect pitch and you still give eight. up a base hit. That ball's down, and he just scooped it out and drove it through the infield. Standing in now, number eight. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Altair on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Cubs strand one. Still way back, it's nine to three. Euro stroke. Enters now, now in a mop-up roll, and she'll try to keep the Number deficit right where it is. Pedro Stroke. Ready for another chance. Number 17. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. one -oh count. Here it is. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, center fielder, Aaron Altair. Now in the box, Aaron Altair. His career line against Pedro Stroke, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. First delivery to him on the way. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Back-to-back -back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Hey, you're not going to do it every day. That single right there, that's okay. It makes him one for five. He contributed a little bit, but they really didn't need him today. It's been a nice team effort. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Just got a piece of the fastball that time as it's chopped foul at the plate for strike one. The 0-1 on its way. Ball chopped foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. The 0-2 delivery. 0-2 is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. As long as you actually get it inside, that two-seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch. The one and two pitch. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. The batter, the shortstop. Striding in once Ready. again, Freddie Galvis. Galvis. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Philly strand one, but they lead it by a margin of nine to three. Here's Chris Bryant now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Adam Morgan enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Adam Morgan. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. First baseman number 44, Anthony Rizzo. 
Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The high fastball is in there. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Change up, and he ain't buying it 1-2. and two. Mm, Just miss on that change up. I like that pitch right there. You got two strikes on him. Throw that change up and see if he chases it. That time he laid off, but hey, good idea. Here's the 1-2 and two delivery. Little chopper back to the mound. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. The catcher, number 13, Alex Avila. Digging in, Alex Avila. He flew out in his last at bat. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. The wind up, and the 0 1. And this is swung on and missed, so the Cubs are down to their final strike here. That ball's right down the middle. And, this and he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. Philadelphia jumped out to a one nothing series lead. Jake Arrieta allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Nine runs on 17 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. For the Cubs, three runs, five hits, one error. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 28 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Citizens Bank Park, 43,500. Well, Phillies, thank you for attending and remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely.